How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and as you can see, I'm already running iOS 26. And in this video, I wanna give you an overview of the new design. Of course, iOS 26 is huge. It has tons of new features. It's completely new, but in this very first video, I just wanna focus on design. Let's get started. You're gonna love the way this looks. And of course, the first thing we have to talk about is this, the liquid glass. As you'll see, this is present throughout iOS 26. Everywhere you see this new design language, you see that everything looks like it's actually made of glass. You see the transparency, but not only that, the reflections, it feels like everything has a sheet of glass on top of it. Think of it like a 3D glass effect that looks absolutely amazing. You can already really tell right here from the control center, but obviously not only here, if you take a look at this, take a look at the notifications, how they look. So again, very glassy as you can see, and not only that either, if you actually take a look at your lock screen, you'll be able to tell that everything has this glass texture. So as I said, not only the transparency, you can see through it, right? But also reflections and so on. And since we're here on the lock screen, take a look at the new animations. So if I swipe up, take a look at this, we'll take a look at how the icons actually stack up, way cooler than before. And when we lock the screen the exact same way, we see this new animation. Of course, we're still on beta one, so it's not 100% refined just yet. Some of the animations will be a little bit glitchy sometimes, but you have an idea of how iOS 26 actually looks. Of course, since we're talking about design, I have to show you the new wallpaper. As you can see, this is new and exclusive to iOS 26, and it has this glassy effect as well with transparency and so on. And I think it looks really, really good in this new layout, in this new interface, and in this new layout language. On top of that, as you can already tell, all icons are different. Some of them are completely different, some of them are just more refined and just tuned. But if you take a look, everything, I guarantee everything is new. Uh, one of the biggest changes, of course, is in the clock app, which is completely different. The camera app as well, giving you this throwback to the original iPhone camera app icon, I love it. And like the mail app, very different. And others like Safari and phone and health, they're very similar, but if you take a look at them very closely, you see they have this new layer. Let me focus of this new transparency and 3D effect kind of thing. You see they are actually updated as well, even though, as I said, some of them are not that different, but everything is actually new. The App Store and Podcast app look very clean. Also the Notes app, I love it. I just loved this new overall design. And speaking about the camera app, it's not only the icon itself that has changed, but if you open it up, you see that everything is different. So if you take a look at this and let me just flip to the front camera, just so you see something, right? Uh, as you can see, we now have photo and video. So super clean layout. So if you tap on video, as you can see, it's going to switch to video mode. And of course, as you tap on it, you see that you can actually navigate through. So as you can see, you can just slide and have access to all your other modes. But by default, you just have very simply photo and video just like that super super cool again let me just put the front facing camera but everything else is new not only this menu so for example if you go back to photo as you can see right here we have this new menu as you tap on it completely new design as well take a look at this it looks so so cool again this sheet of glass on top of the screen on top of the display unlike we had before with that drop down menu here or here no it's completely different and of course you can tap on any of your options and modes or your formats everything looks way way better especially for video take a look at how you can easily tap here and choose absolutely everything here on your camera so you can see your format resolution uh your frame rate it's just way way better than before and even here your preview from your last media 
it's a circle now, not a square. And of course, we have to talk about the new Photos app. By the way, the icon is amazing here on the Photos app, but not that, it's completely new. It's a complete redesign. As you can see, it's everything we've always wanted. Apple realized that the Photos app in iOS 18 was just bad and went back to the original idea. So you just have your library right here. So it's not a huge feed anymore that you go down and down and down. No, 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 that's gone. So all you have here is your library right here and then your collections. And as you tap on collections, then you have everything. So your memories, your pin, your albums, people in pets, and so on. But it's separated. It's the way it was supposed to be from day one. Library and collections and not one single strip of tons and tons of tons of information. So I just loved the new Photos app. And of course, the redesign is carried throughout the whole operating system and every single native app on the iPhone. Like for example, if you open up the Apple Music, as you can see right here, this new layout, you'll see it everywhere and I love it. So you have a library, a radio, your new and so on, right? So as you can drag right here, take a look at this, take a look at this sheet of glass. I'm just like sliding on glass and this looks incredible. So as you can see, this new layout right here, uh, you can see it definitely right here in Apple Music, but anywhere actually. So if you tap on the new clock app, as you can see, you can slide and slide and slide, and I'm sliding through this sheet of glass. Of course, whenever I stop, it'll go there, and then I can just keep sliding and sliding. And this is very subtle. This is very, like, to some people, it may be small, but this is the thing that makes Apple be Apple. This attention to detail, and it's incredible in iOS 26. If we open up our settings, you can see it's different as well. It's very similar to iOS 18, but again, cleaner and more refined. And also take a look at the toggles. How huge are they now in iOS 26? Huge toggles, as you can see right here. And the search bar went down right here to the bottom. Same happened in the Mail app. So if you open it up, you'll see that it's now right here at the bottom. So cleaner design. Take a look at this filter button. Take a look at how beautiful it is. Take a look at behind. You can see that we have right here something purple. And you can see it right here represented in the icon. So uh, insane new design. Of course, I have to show you the new keyboard. There's a new keyboard as well, which you can see right here. It's way lighter, wider than before. Again, it's not completely new, but you can see it's fresher. Let me show you the keyboard in iOS 18. So take a look at this. Of course, not completely new, but as I said, lighter. Take a look at the new rounded edges and everything. So it just looks way better, more futuristic. And once you update your iOS 26 and you take a look at iOS 18, it just looks really like it's from 10 years ago. And last but not least, let me show you something very cool. If you open up your settings and then you scroll down just a bit down until you get to wallpaper and then you add a new wallpaper, as you can see, and then you tap on your photos and then you pick any photo that you want. Let me go ahead and do that. I've selected pets just to make it easier and because this is the cutest thing I have on my iPhone. And then let me tap on this image, for example, and then take a look at this dynamic lock screen that we have right now. So by default, it'll recognize this subject and then put the time right behind it with the liquid glass. Super cool, right? And if we go out here and zoom out, take a look at the time. Take a look at this. It's adjusting automatically and giving me this awesome, awesome effect. This is so, so cool. As you can see, I'm not doing anything. This is all automatic. And of course, all you have to do if you want to is add and have this on your lock screen. So that's literally it for this very first video. I just wanna give you an overview of the new design of iOS 26. Of course, a bunch more content coming up on the channel. There are already videos on the channel about iOS 26 if you haven't watched already. So go ahead and take a look. And of course, subscribe and stay tuned. Awesome content coming up.